human thought. This is uh, Imam Asuthi is credited with giving us this, um, you know, breakdown of understanding our mind. Just look at this, subhanAllah, that our scholars centuries ago were able to understand the way that our thoughts, you know, come and, and to give us uh, terms to be able to identify and distinguish certain thoughts from other thoughts. Just such beautiful, I mean, really, we, we should feel incredibly indebted and just constantly grateful for the blessing of Islam. And, and if we don't feel that as parents or as educators, how do we expect our youth to, to, to get that, especially with the messages that they're getting? But, um, you know, again, look at our scholars and what they've contributed. This is all part of our incredible faith. So what are, what are, how do we understand human thought, right? al hajis so this is a whim or a sudden fleeting thought that comes and goes quickly. We all have whims. We all have thoughts that fleet. They, they, they come and they go. They're not really permanent. They don't have permanence. We don't hold them for very long. It's just a passing thought. Maybe you see something and it reminds you of something. It's a trigger, whatever the case is. So these are how to start understanding your, your stream of consciousness, right? A little bit more, a little bit better. Um, it's to understanding through this framework. Al-Khatir, a notion or a thought that enters and is contemplated or considered. These thoughts that, that we contemplate, there are sources that could be, uh, you know, inspirations that are positive and, and good and inspirations that are evil. And so knowing how to discern those. Hadith and nafs, this is now a conversation, right, that you're having within yourself because we have inter inner dialogue. And so knowing that that inner dialogue, what is the source of it, you know, and if you are not aware of your nafs, then you're having a, co a conversation, an internal dialogue with a source that compels you to evil. And you, you should be very aware of that because sometimes you sound very convincing, right? It's your own mind. It's your own thoughts. And if you're not aware, like, wait a second, that's actually going to harm me. That's not a good thing. I shouldn't um, listen to my nafs in this case, right? I should challenge my nafs. Um, if you don't know how to do that, then you're susceptible to making very big mistakes, egregious mistakes. And then alham wal azam, right? An inclination or motivation. So himma, we may have heard this term, right? To have, to be motivated, right? To have ambition. Um, so you you may have that, and then if you know how to follow it through, or you or you have this resolute desire to follow it through, that's al azam.